Hello everyone, and this is Hellblades FFXI here. I haven't recorded anything for a very long time, and I have a few friends that I'm basically playing for, but if anyone else wants to watch, then I'm not going to argue with it. Um, and today I'm going to be playing Act Razor. Now, please straight today for yourself. Um, yeah. Trying to tell us how to do things. Uh, so this is the first game in a series of games that are loosely but technically connected. Um, so I'm going to go with the actual name that I believe is in the storyline. Are you awake, Sir Gaia? I am the angel sent to help you recover your lost strength. Now all types of monsters are in total control of the earth. This is all that came about because of the demon they call Tanzra. The one who sealed your power. In order to restore your power, you need to rekindle the people's faith in you. But first, let us go down to the earth and destroy all the monsters that we may establish a peaceful land for our people to dwell in. Uh, so, this game, for anyone who doesn't doesn't know, hasn't played it, hasn't seen any other Let's Plays of it, because trust me, there's a lot of Let's Plays of it. Um, this is a side-scroller action platformer and a simulation game. So, the first thing we're going to do is fight monsters, because really nothing else we can do here is going to help. You can get status of home, or status of masters and status of cities, but it's not going to do any good. So right now we have to fight monsters. Sir Gaia, if we destroy all the monsters in this land, the people will be able to live here again. Sir Gaia, are you ready? May luck be with you. Now, this is going to make people dizzy. Always has, always will. But it's an awesome effect from the beginning time of the Super Nintendo. And this game has some awesome music, by the way. So this is the action platformer part of it. Um, you're basically dedicated to your jump whenever you jump. If you try to, to, to turn around, it just stops you. So... Um... Building up points will be better in the long run because the higher your score up to a certain point, oh, that's right. Um, the higher your score up to a certain point, the more uh, your maximum population, the simulation mode is. And we'll get more to that later. Okay, you can just go that way then. Um, Trying to remember which way to go here. I actually have not played this in quite some time. Ow. Oh, for crying out loud. Fine. I'll get behind you and kill you. Yep. There's hidden things all around, and I actually think I... Yeah, okay, that was an accident, but okay. Um, I can't remember what's that way, but... We're just going to keep going forward then. Die. So, in this game you play as the Master, and of course I named it Mas named him Master Gaia for the purposes of the later games, but you technically it's just Master. Um, there's no actual official canon name to this character, I don't believe. If there is, uh, oops. Oh yeah. Tree platform, moving tree platforms. Hey, go back, I want that. Okay, fine. I'll just sit here and wait. Oh, okay, well I didn't need that. Okay, go back, no! Wait, come back here, ow. Okay, now I need it, but... And goodbye to the best music in the game, in my opinion, but... Well, one of the best, if not the best. Hello. Alright, this guy can be difficult if you don't know how to fight him. Oh. Mostly because he has a lightning attack that he may or may not use here. Um, like, you're safe from his dash attack just by getting close to the edge of the screen here um, and ducking. But he has a lightning bolt attack as well, and that's the one that actually can get you. But, no, he died. All right. And so that takes care of Act 1 of Fillmore. And time goes into score, so again, the faster that you complete it, 
the more enemies you kill, the more lives you have, everything goes into your score, and the higher your score, the better this part goes. This is the simulation mode, and you can tell it actually changes from act to sim in the top left hand corner. Um, and instead of playing as the master here, we play as the angel. Sir Gaia, Fillmore may become a land where people can live in peace. Our first duty is to protect our people from any monsters. I will do as you'd instruct. Please rid the land of these monsters with my arrows. There are several mysterious circles on the ground which represent monsters' lairs. If you direct the people correctly, they will be able to seal the lairs. You will discover the monster that controls this land. If destroyed, control of this land's destiny will return to her people. Alright, my master, let us work towards peace. Sir Gaia, I know it's unexpected, trust me, it's not going to be unexpected for long. But our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. My master, we are having a difficult time building homes because of many bushes. Please burn the bushes and guide us as we begin to build our roads. Okay. So, you control with... Oh, god, that was the B button. I didn't mean to do the B button. Um, you control the angel in all directions. You shoot arrows at monsters. And whenever you kill monsters, the souls go back to the... Uh, main... <sighs> okay, yes, I know. No, I don't want either of those. There we go, direct the people. Um, and you can choose what they... You don't ever, almost never have to use Let Us Listen unless you haven't played for a while and forget what they said last. Um, so, you can also use Miracles it, based on your SP in the uh, top right-hand corner there. Um, lightning, for example, can destroy houses, fields, rocks, palm trees, and bushes. And this is what they, they were asking me to do, was to use lightning on the bushes. To, and also you can kill enemies that happen to be in the way, too. So, and goodbye bushes. So, the first thing we're going to do is guide their direction in this... Oh, and I, I'm going to go ahead and point it out. I'm not going to get perfect uh, population. Because getting so requires building at least uh, two, three cities in the exact right way or everything goes to crap, and I can promise you that it's not going to happen in my case. Um, oh yes, so these monster layers actually have a certain number of, I can't do anything during this, um, have a certain number of uh, monsters built into them, so if I was to say go over here, and uh, it's not unexpected. Our master, we finally mastered the skill of hunting animals. We are now we now have enough confidence to fight monsters. Please lead us to the monsters' lairs. I I was already doing that, buddy. Oh crap. It's apparently not B, it's A, isn't it? No? Is it X? No. It is B. Napper bats. Okay, so you see there's 140 in this. There are two ways to steal this. You can actually sit here and just literally kill 140 of those things. Or you can lead the people to them. Oh, and the angel doesn't necessarily die whenever you run out of HP or anything. It just prevents you from being able to do anything until they heal. Oh, crap. This is one of the reasons you're killing the monsters. Because they attack the people. Alright, so they're sealing that layer, so I ain't gonna have to worry about that anymore. You die. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get back here. Sir Gaia, our people have sealed the monster's lair without our help. Sir Gaia, the civilization of Fillmore seems to have improved. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use up my SP. The downside with this game is it's a little slow because of waiting for text boxes every time you use a miracle or... Well, in general, there's a lot of waiting involved. And that building just got fried. Uh, not much I can do about that right now. So, going to use up my SP because you build back SP over time. Um, there's this little uh, little hourglass right here, and whenever it fills up or runs out of time and f technically refills to the top, that's whenever the town under construction happens. And every time the town comes under construction, based on how many souls you have, I think. Um, you, you regain SP. Okay. 
Recently, strange things have been happening to me. Many of my thoughts actually come to life in the real world. If these powers are real, I feel s the presence of something holy radiating from the woods east of here. Alright. And by the woods east of here, they would mean... This area, most likely, if I remember correctly. I, again, I haven't played the game in a long time. Okay, so they've finished building, and you usually would want to, like, set up the building right before they get done so they never stop. Um. Oh, uh, where do I want to go from here? Uh, I don't think it matters. Like I said, I'm not going to get perfect, so I'm just going to stop them there for now. Stop destroying my houses. Thank you. You. Die. Ugh, of course it went off screen. Okay. Yes. I'm waiting. So, this is how the simulation mode goes. Um. It's... Oh, level increase. Nice. Level is 2. HP is 9. And level increase again when the total population becomes 200. This is why population is important. Population, it literally, the score feeds into simulation mode, which allows you to get higher population, and population then feeds right back into action mode by allowing you to level up. It's a very neat system, actually. Um, Sir Gaia, they've sealed it, yes. Uh, appears they found something within the monster's lair, okay. My master, we have a strange statue. We present this to you as an offering. Please accept it. I... Okay. Um... I'm going to screw up the population of this area by destroying these bushes here. Okay. Okay, I'm already up to 45 SP max. That's nice. You know what? Screw it. Again, it'll become more obvious why that's a bad thing later. Waiting f to give me control back. Hello, thank you. Alright, so when they said that their civilization increased, you can see they're building new houses here. Um, this is the old house, this is the new house, and that's a, that's a lightning house, okay. Um, so there are ways, you have to destroy old houses because they're never going to replace them on their own or upgrade them. Um, one of the fatal flaws of the game, but not really fatal I suppose, but at least for early game it's very annoying to have to deal with that. Late game, you get a better way, but... <laughs> Alright, unexpected. What are they telling me now? The presence of magic power running from under the reed in the big rock under the precipice southeast of here. Something may be buried there. Please use your powerful lightning to destroy this rock. Okay. Alright. Well, the only rock on the map is... I think this one? Is there any others? Yeah, no. This should be the rock. And... It helps if I hit the right buttons. So, you're lightning the rock. Hey, rocks are gone. Our master, magic token was found near the precipice to the southeast of here. We present it to you as an offering. Please accept it. Where is it? Where is it frying my houses? I heard that. There it is. Yeah, see how this road just kind of abruptly hits the water edge? That's where things bad are going to happen that are going to be very annoying if I cared about perfect population. Thankfully, I don't. Oh, where's it? There it is. I swear. <laughs> Navigating this menu is very hard for me. Okay, seal that. 
Now, this mode's a little boring, but at the same token, it's no more boring than some other strategy games, so I can't really complain. So, because I don't... <sighs> die. Because I don't have anything else to... Anything else to do with my SP right now. I keep trying to... Thing talking, getting interrupted here. Um, you can actually destroy these houses here by using lightning. As I said, it destroys houses. Um, and by doing so, you'll be able to increase your level more. Because the level 2 houses give you more population than the level 1 houses. Yes. A fishing trade. Okay. Okay, they're giving me a scroll. I really do not feel like reading all of that. <laughs> yes, I will use the lightning. Okay, so this one's I'm not destroying any of the level one, uh, level two houses, so that works out for me. And it killed the bat. Nice. All right, bat. You're, I'm just gonna sit here and kill this bat for a little bit. Ah! Ignore that. <laughs> What I love is how this guy is just content to sit there and do nothing for a while, and then all of a sudden he'll get up and, and just vanish on you, and next thing you know he's destroying shit. It's very annoying. Hey, no. No, get back here. Alright, so that one's going to be sealed, so now I just have to worry about this guy, but he's surrounded by a rivers, and I can't really do anything about that, can I? Goodbye, bats. That's the last bat of this map. Sir Gaia, our people have sealed the monster lair. Yes, someone found something in the monster's lair. My master, we have found a strange bow and some arrows. We present this as, to you as an offering. Please accept it. <sighs> they were just talking to me. Why are they talking to me again? Thank you, master. We have acquired a new skill and can now build bridges. With the way across the river, we can build homes over there. And now they can build bridges. And this is... There's already one bridge, but that's not where it's going to stop, is it? Because, see, the way that this game works is anytime there's a straight road crossing a uh, river, like, there's not one here now because it, there's no other thing in this section. But I'm fairly 80% positive that's going to change. Oh, that was the pause button. I meant to do this. Uh -huh. uh, for some reason, I thought start was going to bring up the uh, menu. I've been using the B button this entire time, but for some reason I thought it was going to be start. Hey now, leave, 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 leave. How many were in here? Actually something I need to know. As you actually get stuff, oh there's plenty in there, I'm not going to kill them all before they... Well, no, stop it. Go away. Let's increase level four. I do plan on cutting out some of the uh, troubles, you might say, 
Um, but not on this this first episode because oh, I have my troubles. I mean the pay the waiting the waiting game because I know this is probably boring. This is just gonna be the first episode, so I'm just kind of showing off what the game is about, how the game is played as far as uh, basic measures, you might say. And of course, how you get stronger and how you build up the town. Because this is basically what building up the town is. You just direct the, the people, you kill the monsters. By killing the monsters, it lets them make more places. Uh, they found that thing they mentioned in the forest. Okay. Inform me the scroll was found in the woods east of here. Alright, so now. Pause again. Now that they're finished there, we can have them. I'm gonna see if this helps. I doubt it, but now if they've already built there, the arrow moves really fast. So, because they're not having to make new roads, really. Okay, so I might be able to convince this. To, it's gonna create another bridge there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm. It might. It might not. But I'm gonna try. We'll see. I don't know. I might have gotten away without doing multiple bridges. We'll see. It'd be cool if I do. Alright, and that's the last monster layer. They sealed the monster layer without our help. Civilization level has improved. Alright. Come, my master. Since the last layer has been sealed, something strange has been happening to me. I have the same nightmare every night. In my nightmare, the gruesome monster, Minotaurus, appears through a big hole to the southeast. He says he will curse the people with death. Because of my ability to see into the future, I feel as if I am already afflicted by the monster's curse. Please, my monster, go down into the ground and destroy this gruesome monster before something terrible happens. And... Oh, nope, they made it a bridge there. Okay, well, it's okay then. So now there's an actual hole in the ground here. That's one of the reasons you can't build over here, because they reserve that for actually changing the, uh, changing the area to show the, the hole in the ground. Um, so that's going to be the start of the next episode, is going to fight the uh, next action zone. Um, but before that, I'm going to try my best to maximize population, and the best way of doing that is to, well, I can't do the best way of doing that yet, because that takes a lot of SP, and so it's going to involve a lot of, uh, well, this. <laughs> Goodbye, houses. You had one level 2 house, I'm sorry, it had to die. And so that's what I'm going to be doing, is trying to maximize population as best I can, so that I can get stronger and be able to uh, do better in the next zone, because I need as much HP as I can get, because I'm terrible at this game. Oh yeah, and now they build these houses instead of fields, so... Yep. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.